Hi, welcome to Scholastic Video Book Series, Circuits and Systems, Book 1, Superposition Theorem. Here we are going to look at a simple example. It says that using the superposition theorem, find the voltage V0 of the circuit shown in the figure where there are two sources, one voltage and one current source, plus few resistors. Let's first see what is the definition of superposition theorem. It says that voltage across a current through an element is determined by summing voltage or current due to each independent source at a time. So basically, in order to perform this, we need to eliminate all sources except dependent sources other than the one being considered. Here, please note that dependent sources will be covered in uh, another lesson. So in this case, we are using only independent sources. We'll look at what are them. So to, to eliminate a voltage source, the terminals connected to the voltage source are short-circuited. And to eliminate the current source, the terminals connected to the current source are open-circuited. There are two types of sources. One type is voltage source, the other type is current source. Let's apply to this example where we have a voltage source and a current source. So we need to determine the value of V0 with only one source at a time. So here, there is a voltage source and there is a current source in the circuit and few resistors. Our task is to find out V0. So hence we need to eliminate one at a time. So we need to use one source and calculate the output and add them together. So eliminate uh, the step one to eliminate the current source we open circuit it. Basically this is the circuit given we have a current source here. What we do is we remove the current source. We make it open circuited here. This is an open circuit. So we have a voltage source, three resistors, and the output VO1. So VO is the output due to both sources. Due to one voltage source, we denote it VO1. And let us assume the current in the circuit is equal to I1. Basically, if you look at carefully, there is no current flowing through this branch here because the open circuit and the total current will flow like that. And that is I1. So if you calculate I1, we can calculate VO1 because I1 is a current through this branch multiplied by the resistance here will give the drop across this resistor from negative to positive. So it will be positive if you multiply the current by the resistance, you get the direction in the same direction as VO1. So to calculate the current I1, we can apply the coach of voltage low and 24 volts total voltage drop across this circuit and if you divide that by the resistances, basically equal to V equal to IR, the total voltage time is equal to I times R. So we have 6 kilo ohms, 10 kilo ohm and 3 kilo ohms. So when you add them, 6 plus 10 plus 3 kilo ohms, so you get the total current by 24 divided by the total resistance will be the current. So once you know the current, multiply it by 3 kilo ohms to calculate the drop across these two terminals. So V0, V01 is the voltage due to only one source and the current in milliamperes multiplied by the kilo ohms, you get to cancel K to M and then the answer is 3.789 volts across this terminal. These two terminals. Okay, that is due to one source. Our step two is now to eliminate the voltage source by short circuiting. So now this is our circuit which is given and we need to eliminate the voltage source. Basically we short circuit it and current source still there. So this is a way of eliminating a voltage source. Earlier, if it is a current source, we need to remove it. So now we have a voltage output VO2 in this circuit 
and now let us assume the current in the left branch and the right branch there are two branches left branch I assume that this is the center branch so this is the left branch this is the right branch so we assume that there's current I2 flowing in this branch I3 flowing in this, br this branch and then we need to find out what is the value of I3 to calculate VO2 I3 times 3 kilo ohms will give us the voltage drop, drop across VO2 due to the current source okay so what our next task is to write an equation for this node a curve of current law so we'll see how f we write the first equation basically i2 plus i3 is equal to 5 milliampere so this is very simple and we not denote this node to be a this is to be b then voltage drop across these two tablets is equal to vab and please no, look at here there are two branches one branch current goes this way and the other branch current goes this way but they are they have a common voltage drop in the center here that means I2 times 6 is equal to VAB and I3 times 10 plus 3 also equal to VAB so basically when you write I3 times resistance there will be a drop from B to A and drop from B to A for this side so we have two equations now what we need to know, do is to get rid of I2 because I2 is not necessary for our calculation what we need is I3 so what we do is we use the first equation here and then uh, take the I2 into one side and phi minus I3 can be substituted instead of I2 in the equation 2 we substitute there phi minus I3 times 6 equal to I3 times 13 and 6 I3 negative will go to this side 99 I3 phi times 6 30 and I3 equal to 30 divided by 19 which is 1.579 milliamperes that is the current flowing in this right branch so multiply it by 3 kilo ohms and 3k and milli will cancel off each other and then final answer is in volts 4.737 volts so what we can see here is that we need to calculate VO we calculated VO1 earlier which is 3.789 volts and now we owe to 4.737 volts therefore our total output voltage due to both sources we owe equal to we owe 1 plus we owe 2 3.789 plus 4.737 equal to 8.526 volts in fact this is the answer to this question but what we do in the next step is to find out to verify our answer that means we are going to consider both voltage source and the current source together and try to write few equations and calculate V0 in the usual way without using the subversion theorem so we have uh, we just assume that in the left branch we have a current of I dash La right branch we have a current of I double dash and again same equation applies here so to verify the results so we have two sources and the current going through this one is I dash and I double dash equal to 5 milliamperes again VAB is the voltage drop, drop across this branch but now we have one branch with a battery of voltage source another branch as it is so this branch we need to be careful here the voltage drop is from negative to positive and whenever there's a current flowing in this direction there will be a drop in the same direction as the voltage drop if you if you take this clockwise direction so therefore uh, VAB for this branch 24 plus I dash times 6 because the drop is in this direction ne left to right and this is bottom to top so it's in the same direction therefore it's positive equal to I double dash times 10 plus 3 so again top to bottom and that is the VAB drop across these two terminals so both are same okay now it's a matter of simplification now we don't need to have I dash we need I double dash therefore use our first equation to calculate I dash and then substitute it in this equation equation 2 and then we can get rid of I dash to find out I double dash so okay 
So 24 plus i dash 5 minus i double dash times 6 equal to i double dash times 13. Now we have 5, 6 times i double dash negative i double dash 6 i double dash. When you take it to the other side, 19 i double dash and 6 times 5, 30, 24, 54 i double dash equal to 54 divided by 19, 2.842 milliampere. So now our we output voltage again similar way the current is I double dash multiplied by the drop across uh, the resistance here which will give us a voltage drop from negative to positive so 3 times I double dash so I double dash this one so you multiply you get 8.526 so what we got from the previous calculation is superposition theorem is 8.526 volts so that verified our answer thank you